Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today I'm going to review the brand new trucks in KC for 2020 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Welcome back everyone. Today is yet another Monster Mosty Hot Wheels Monster Trucks review video. Uh, I have received these trucks in the mail today from Bernie Rubber Toy Company. So I want to thank them, Paul and Kate, for sending these in uh, for review. You guys are awesome. Uh, lately, I haven't had any new Spin Master stuff. So they've been keeping me up to date with Mattel stuff, which is very kind of them to do. Uh, I, I sincerely appreciate them. And if you guys have not checked out their eBay site, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, they are awesome. Also check them out on social media. Uh, again, they supplied these for me today, and I couldn't have done this review as early as I am doing it without their help. So this is Case C of 2020 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I have not reviewed Case B yet officially up on my channel. I will do it after this video. I feel like this is more important to do ahead of time. I know I'm going out of order uh, in terms of releases. I mean, I usually would be the one that's worried about it, but I think you guys... Um, want to see these newer ones before anything else. So uh, I, I know I have slacked off on not getting that video out, but I promise it will get out soon. But here is KC, the newest edition of the Hot Wheels Moss trucks. We are now up to 24 trucks released this year, uh, three mixes out or cases out, and uh, we are here now. So you can see we have for the first truck in the fleet, the five alarm black and white series, the L Superfasto, a brand new truck, Bigfoot with the Hot Wheels Moss trucks live casting, the 70 Dodge Charger RT, all beefed up, Demo Derby, Hot Wheels Racing number three, and the Dairy Delivery, which was previously called Hot Wheels Delivery. So it's interesting to change the name. But anyway, these are the trucks in the case. There's only three new trucks. We have seen uh, my personal favorite of so far in the fleet of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, the Demo Derby, before. I'm happy to see it again because it is a real life truck um, and it is still one of my favorites. So that's nice to see. And then we have the Dairy Delivery, as it was called before the Hot Wheels Delivery, but now it's Dairy Delivery. Um, that's another one repeated. We have Dodge Charger in the red. Hot Wheels Racing number three. And the infamous, the Peg Warmer, all beefed up. So all beefed up is well known. I'm sure if you guys have ever seen the all beefed up, you witnessed it because it was a Peg Warmer at your stores. Um, mine took about three or four months to cycle these out. So I fell super behind on Hot Wheels Moss Trucks in terms of Target because Target was hit really hard. Now Walmart actually has these in there. So that that's unfortunate. So for them to re-release all beefed up in, this, in the next year, you would have thought they would have learned by this point not to do it again, but I guess not. Uh, so it's back again, same paint scheme, everything. This is not the new one, but this is the same exact thing you'll see on store shelves. I'm sure for a little while, um, we're probably in for a couple months of all beefed up, if not a long time. In some cases, people still have them in their stores right now, which I really feel bad for. So going in order of the case, uh, kind of, I want to start with the El Superfasto, actually. I was going to start with that, but I think El Superfasto is um, uh, my least favorite, and I really want to see the features of this truck. Uh, it is part of the Tinted Wheels series. We have seen, I believe, three or four now. Uh, this was one, I I, I think, um, the Bad Catitude, which is from Case B, which I will review soon. Uh, case A had the one Bad Ghoul, which is actually really sick. It has clear tires and clear uh, rims. And then we have this new one with clear tires and clear rims, which is El Superfasto. This is a Hot Wheels car casting that they've converted into the Moss Trucks form. Um, I'll talk about my personal feelings about it when I unbox it, but for now, here are these um, actual stats. You can see the name is El Superfasto, the truck type is muscle, the strength is speed to burn, the crash tech is sonic boom boom, and the motivation is to be first and fastest. Yeah, interesting. Um, here it is, let's just unbox it right now, the El Superfasto for 2020. And here is El Superfasto, the brand new Moss Trucks for Hot Wheels Moss Trucks. And I must see if this comes off. I've heard rumor that it does. Um, maybe not. Does this part come off? Something comes off, I, I believe. Um, I, I, I thought that this comes apart because the real life Hot Wheels car comes apart. Um, it looks really strange when it is apart. I... I I mean, it, it, like, it's coming loose, which is something that they probably wouldn't have for quality control. It, am I missing something? There might be something I'm doing wrong. 
let me, I'm just going to try to pry it off. You know what? I don't really care. Um, let's, oh, oh my gosh. I actually got it off. There we go. Okay. That's exactly what needs to happen. So um, that was way more difficult than it needed to be, but this is the El Superfasto. So this is, I guess, the mask um, of this this casting, um, but you can see it does come off like the real Hot Wheels car. They form that into Monstro, but like I said, it looks really, really weird without it. It is really not an attractive looking piece. Um, their purple windshield that they're using, you can see it there and you can see it in the front post. It's only seen right here in these tiny little eyes, I guess you can call them, which are pretty much impossible to see even with the thing off. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I, that looks really weird. I'm just gonna put this back on. I don't want to see it like that anymore. Okay. That again was really difficult, but it does come off. So El Superfasto still features that, um, in the Moss trucks form and it's hard to see, but these are actually clear as well. They're blue. So the reds make it a little difficult to see, but they are teal blue clear rims with uh, kind of a pinkish red. Actually, I say more of the red side of a, a tire color. Uh, with clear transparency in it. Uh, so yeah, that, I, I want to do it one more time to see if it comes off easier. Um, I guess not, same thing. Oh no, it is a little bit easier. Uh, so yeah, that's El Superfasto. That's the body art for it. Um, interesting that they use the old Hot Wheels logo colors, the white and red um, to match. So that's the plastic portion. This is the metal portion. Again, it looks really it just, I don't like it. Anyway, we're going to put it back on. I, I don't want to see it like that ever again. So that's El Superfasto, white roll cage, chrome chassis, uh, yellow connecting crash, or not connecting crash, the uh, crushable car for that. The five alarm black and white series. If you notice here, it actually says number one of six. So we had number two, I believe it was number two, come out first in case B, which was the bone shaker. Um, I've commented on this in my video, which I will release, like I said, soon. The stats are the same as usual. So there they are there if you want to read them. And we're going to unbox it. Number one of six of the black and white series for 2020 Five Alarm. And here's the truck. This is the insert here. You can see it has the Treasure Hunt logo inside of the Hot Wheels Fire badge and um, Red Crush car and the truck itself. So what I noticed with this truck is that the graphics are less raised than before. Um, and what I mean by that is the 3D-ness of them has been taken out uh, compared to the, let me see. Yeah, compared to the Bone Shaker, which had super raised graphics, which are basically 3D. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to knock that down, but you can see here um, on the Bone Shaker, there's a very large amount of raised portion of the graphics. So much so that the camera lighting actually reflects off of that. So you can feel it. It's it's 3D. The the rescue or I'm reading it wrong. The five alarm, not rescue. Five alarm. It doesn't have that feature as prominent. It is there, but it's not nearly as prominent as it was on Bone Shaker. So it could be just a one time thing that they did with Bone Shaker. Um, but you never know. It's a hard casting to do 3D graphics on because it's so small and limited. But I would have expected them to do it on the roof, which they did not do in terms of 3D. Um, and it also looks like a zebra. I don't know if that was necessarily the best thing to go with for a fire truck, a zebra look. That is personal opinion. Um, really, uh, people's own determination of if they believe that's good or not. Um, I, I don't think it's the best design choice. Um, what I do like is that it has a charcoal chrome outline, which is kind of hard to capture on camera, but uh, it is all charcoal chrome along the plastic portion. They did do chrome on that. It has that standard white chassis again and white beadlocks with black rims, a black ladder. And yeah, so that's five alarm. And then the last one we have is the infamous, the famous and first Moss truck ever, the Bigfoot. And it is now being issued for the third time. This is a new body, however. Last year, or this year, we received two different types of Bigfoots. One was fairly difficult to find for some people. Some people did find it eventually, which was the standard body Bigfoot, um, the original style one. Actually, this is the standard body. This is the new, uh, the original one. And that was fairly hard to find for some people. I found only one during my entire collecting out this year, uh, going out and hunting. Uh, this is the standard one though, like I said, so that's why I'm mentioning that because the next one, the, um, what we used to consider the Target exclusive Hot Wheels Striper Bigfoot is the hardest to find. This was, um, honestly, I have no idea what happened. It 
It was supposed to be distributed to targets only. And then at the end of the day, it actually made it to Best Buy stores only in November. Uh, when it was supposed to be released in summertime. So the Striper Bigfoot will remain a mystery of Hot Wheels. I have very close confirmation that it won't be reissued in 2020. So this will, I guess, just become one of the most highly valued trucks of 2020 and I guess, or sorry, 2019 and I guess of the Bigfoot fleet. And now we finally have a pickup truck edition, which was a highly requested item. Uh, honestly, they probably should have made this one first it seems as if they've been really lacking on doing Bigfoots for some odd reason. They have so many different options to use and they continue to release old stuff instead of push the truck that everyone really wants, which is Bigfoot. But once in a blue moon, we do receive something that actually makes me excited about the truck. And this one is actually pretty cool. So Bigfoot, it features the F-150, I believe people have been telling me, F-150 style grill or F-250, I can't remember which one and very similar printing to the original one that we just looked at, which I'll compare it to. Uh, but as far as the stats go, they're the same as the original. Um, and we have the fifth truck out of the Hot Wheels Moss Trucks Live series. Demo Derby, I believe is number six or four. And then we have one more truck, which is the brand new Hot Wheels Racing number one design, which was just announced by the way, which looks really cool. So that would be the last one of the Hot Wheels Moss Trucks Live Tour truck series but anyway this is the bigfoot and we're going to box it right now and that was pretty simple so here it is the bigfoot uh on the pickup truck tooling the king cab and we have a red car insert we have the bigfoot logo bigfoot here's the pickup truck it has a beautiful that's a plus a beautiful uh metallic clear coat or metallic clear coat metallic paint job also a nice clear coat glassy clear coat and um it has limited amounts of sponsors. I was expecting them to go a little heavy with them because that's how the real truck looks like, but they didn't. Um, they have the Summit, they have the Bigfoot truck itself, Hot Wheels, Moss Trucks, and Firestone along this gray um, stripe on the bottom. A painted in window, we have a stripe going along the side. Um, of course, like I mentioned, the F-150 grill, they actually stepped up and did full grill printing for this edition. I felt like they actually were just forced to do it at this point because if they didn't do it, it would look really bad. It, it would be a big disappointment. So I'm, I'm glad they listened at least once with this one. So um, yes, that's the front grill. It actually is painted in um, without the Ford logo, of course, but it is there. Bigfoot on the, just a tiny little one there on the front. Same stuff on this side. And then we have the tailgate, which brings me to this truck, which is the um, Bigfoot original style. Uh, and you can see the differences. Obviously they're pretty um, obvious which ones they are. So they have moved the Firestone. That's correct. They, this is correct placement. And they moved a couple of sponsors around. So yes, that is the new Bigfoot, same tailgate. Um, the taillights, so here's an issue I have. Um, I'm not sure if this is on everyone's Bigfoots and you guys can comment if you guys have this one yet. Uh, if you don't in the future, let me know. My taillights were printed double, which is unfortunate. You can see it's printed on the double. Uh, same with this side, just terrible job with the taillights. Uh, I suppose taking such a long break from doing taillights and grill printing that they just don't remember how to do it possibly. Um, this also is lined up incorrectly, the headlight placement. It could be a factory issue. It could be a design issue. I'm not sure which one, but when you see the taillights double printed like that with a specific pattern, it looks like it's a design issue. I'm not sure though. I can't comment on it, but it is unfortunate. Although it's a nice piece, it does have a little bit of flaws in terms of decal placement. Uh, it has a white roll cage, which I personally disagree with. I think they should have brought it down to a light gray. The real truck apparently has a white roll cage, but it's not like this bright bleached white. This is like snow pure white color, just like the rims, um, which makes this truck look a little, just a tad on the strange side, in my opinion, because it just is so bright. It's overpowering almost. And I know that they have gray roll cages. They could have done that for sure. Uh, so I can't wait to see people swapping this to uh, onto a different chassis. It will be interesting to see what they do. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. Check out Bernie Rubber Toy Company and I thank them again for helping me get this review done. I'm glad to do some new products for at least uh, something. Uh, I hope that we have Spin Master coming out soon uh, for review. I know I've had massive amounts of people asking me. I will continue to try and get in contact with them for new reviews. But until then, we're going to be doing Hot Wheels. And again, I'll see you in the next video. This is Random Austin Moose CD, signing out.